Okay, good evening friends. Uh, today, I'm gonna tell you uh, about discussion from Dr. Brian Enderly about can God and science share the same space? Why did I choose this topic? Of course, because it seems interesting. Uh, a little brief about Brian Enderly. He grew up in Modesto, California. Now he lives in Davis, California with his wife, Peggy, and his son, Isaac. Uh, and he is deeply invest, invested in science as well as theology and philosophy. As a result, Brian obtained two BS degrees in a chemical and petroleum engineering before pursuing an MS and PhD in chemical engineering. Straight to the topic, how can you believe in God? How does he prove God? To be exact, it's all about space. This is a thought discussion about analogies, possibility, and connection. Let me share a Brian Enderley's uh, riddle. What if we live inside a room, and this room is all we have ever known? No windows, no door, internet, texting, etc. And you cannot hear from outside the wall and some of us may be asked some troubling question such as how did the chairs get here how did the laptop get here none of us know how to make a chair or how to use a laptop and how this laptop were were made but these chairs and the laptop is pretty amazing could be there another chair like this in the outside of this room is there something in the outside cause these chairs or this laptop to get here? We can see analogously, this is what we asked about our universe, the big room that we live in. Um, to be simple, is there, is there something in the outside beyond the boundary of universe? We humans like to take potentially what seems disconnected the certain with the uncertainty then how did this all begin how did the universe begin maybe as a scientist you would say a big bang theory more like expansion a huge amount of cosmic energy that converted to a mass there's i hope you guys don't ask what time is it when did big bang happens because there is no time before big bang happens and there is no space and what did Brian tell in his video? God believer and atheist is not far, uh, it's not far apart. I mean, we all must give an explanation about metaphysical and life outside of what we know in order to describe the mysterious beginning of our universe. And the space we occupy might not be as far apart as we saw first. Well, some of us said that philosophy and theology completely disconnected from the outside world. Um, the universe consists of system and parts, such as source, process, process, and system. And we don't even care about the source who made it, or the process, how it came so we can just use it. Maybe same as you guys using your smartphone. You're just using it without even care who made it. It does not matter if you're atheist or believer. Science is a study of process by which they operate and function. But we must admit that science does not tackle the metaphysical question about our universe. Philosophy and theology are not meant to be described scientific process of the world. But our world it's still studyable and understandable. Even the mystery of the source may still elude. Because of the process of what we think, you can just conclude, I can just exist and function well without caring the scientific process of this world, how you exist, who made you. Someone can't say they don't believe God because of science, and I don't believe in science because of God. 
It can't be like that. However, they can work in a parallel to support one another. So we can conclude that science is a, uh, is a process or being a process and God as a source. And they could occupy the same space and you may not realize it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.